Good morning, everyone. The program is about to start in a few minutes. But before that, we are inviting everyone to join our social media contest for the COS Marketing for Good online press launch. Simply share a photo from our event with a caption about COS Marketing for Good on your social media accounts and use the official hashtags, hashtag COS Marketing for Good, hashtag World Vision X Comco C, hashtag World Vision PH, and hashtag Comco C. Again, that's four hashtags to join our little game, little activity for today. So make sure to set your post on public so our team will be able to see your entries. We will be selecting the three best posts to receive special items from Comco Southeast Asia. Winners will be announced by the end of our program today. Thank you and see you in a bit.
again, we are inviting you to join our social media contest for the Cost Marketing for Good online press launch. Simply share a photo from our event with a caption about Cost Marketing for Good on your social media accounts and use the official hashtags, hashtag Cost Marketing for Good, hashtag World Vision X Comco C, hashtag World Vision PH, and hashtag Comco C. Those four hashtags can be found in our chat thread. Don't you worry. So make sure to set your post on public so our team will be able to see your entries. We will be selecting the three best posts to receive special items from Comco Southeast Asia. Winners will be announced by the end of our program. Thank you so much and we will start in a minute. Program, allow me to open us with a prayer. And let's recognize the presence of our Father. Lord God, we thank you for gathering us today for cost marketing for good. We ask that you guide us as we talk about the importance of coming together to support each other during this difficult, challenging time. Continue to fill our hearts with hope and love that allow us to go the extra mile for the work you entrusted to us. We also ask you to bless our press launch today and our cost marketing for good virtual conference on July 21. All these we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay, a very pleasant morning sa ating lahat, especially to our partners, friends from the media, blogosphere, and other guests. Recording in progress. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy during this time. My name is Carol Veronilia, and we are thrilled to welcome you to the online press launch of World Vision's Cost Marketing for Good campaign, created in partnership with Comco Southeast Asia. In this event, we are unveiling how World Vision and its partners are helping another sector of Philippine society that has been heavily affected by the pandemic the MSMEs, or the micro, small, and medium enterprise, our country's economic backbone, which has certainly been hit hard by the global economic slowdown and local quarantines. This morning, we'll be tackling how World Vision will champion MSMEs through cost-related marketing, or CRM, teaching businesses how they can stay relevant and create a deeper connection with their consumers through projects and campaigns that support social causes social causes. Don't forget to also share a photo from our launch today with a caption about cost marketing for good on your social media accounts and to use the official hashtags, hashtag cost marketing for good, hashtag world vision x comco c, hashtag world vision ph, and hashtag comco c to win special items from comco southeast asia. Our hashtags can also be found in our chat thread. 
now to open our program, we'd like to request Mr. Romel Fuerte, World Vision's National Director, to share his welcome remarks. Thank you. Thank, stopped. thank you very much, Carol. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we really hope and pray that you are doing very well uh, wherever you are at this point. Together with the uh, Comco Southeast Asia, with Ferdinand Bondoy there, uh, the Regional Integration and Chief Executive Director of Comco Recording Southeast Asia. in progress. Asia, we warmly welcome and thank everyone for joining us today, especially our partners and friends in media as we launch a very timely, you know, this is a very timely and very relevant campaign called Us Marketing for Good. While we are still in the middle of the pandemic, we know that, and we're just starting our journey to recovery, we are humbled to partner with MSMEs as the, the, they significantly contribute to our economy, comprising, they comprise, if, you, if you're aware of it, that they comprise more than 90% of our businesses in the country and employing more than 60% 60, 60 of our country's workforce. And that's according to the Philippine Statistics Agency. This learning event or a campaign is a way for World Vision of helping MSMEs that while most of them are still recovering from the impact of the pandemic, they can also do something good through effective cost marketing campaigns, especially in the communities where they do business. We are very excited and so blessed and so grateful to have our experienced and esteemed resource speakers we have here David Birai, the Senior Branding Manager of Air Asia, Ishana Wong, a Senior Associate of Lazada Philippines, of course, Third Domingo, CEO of Ideas X Machina or IXM, and of course, Ferdinand Bondoy, also a Regional Integration and Chief Executive Director of Comco Southeast Asia. Again, to our friends and partners in media, we sincerely thank you for your presence today and for your support in spreading the word about this very exciting, very timely campaign, Cost Marketing for Good. Truly, it takes all of us to bring joy and hope, especially during this time, uh, and especially for children. Maraming salamat, dagang salamat, and may God bless us all. Thank you for that. Thank you for that message, Sir Romel. And truly, the ongoing pandemic has had a massive effect not only on our health but also on the economy. Among the most heavily hit sectors are MSMEs, which make up ninety nine point five percent of business establishments in the Philippines and employ sixty three percent of the country's workforce, as shared earlier by Sir Romel from struggles in operations and sales to how they can support the well-being of their employees, MSMEs face huge hurdles when it comes to keeping their businesses afloat. Yet, what we've seen during this turbulent period is the country's Bayanihan spirit with Filipinos banding together to help each other during this crisis. And we've also seen how Filipino consumers have responded positively to brands and companies who support advocacies and stand for values that they believe in. While this change in mindset has been brewing for some years now, what the pandemic has taught us is that in the eyes of consumers, businesses can and have the responsibility to do good, and that doing good actually makes for good business. With this in mind, World Vision and Comco Southeast Asia created Cost Marketing for Good to help MSMEs create a deeper connection with their consumers by championing social causes. For more information on the campaign, let us all watch this video.
doing good is truly good business and to help more SMMEs discover what cost marketing is and how it can help MSMEs do good for others and themselves, World Vision is hosting the Cost Marketing for Good virtual conference this July 21 at 2 p.m. They will be joined by representatives from different marketing agencies and companies who will share insights about their own CRM programs and the impact it has had for their business. The event will be held on Zoom, which participants can access by registering at wvph.co slash cost marketing for good. Here to tell us more about what MSMEs can expect from this insightful virtual conference and how World Vision can be the partner of different brands in their cost marketing journey, we'd like to call on Mr. June Godornes, World Vision Resource Development Director. Thank you, Carol. Uh, and I'm grateful to our friends no, from uh, the media and from the blogosphere who joined us today. Uh, salamat sa support that you uh, continue to extend to World Vision and especially for the virtual CSR Summit last year in Manila, uh, I think this year in, in Davao uh, and in Cebu no, earlier this year. And uh, this uh, cost marketing for good is essentially a continuation of that, no? doing good is good business uh, webinar. Uh, and now we're targeting MSMEs as uh, shared by Carol and by Romel. No? Uh, we're uh, targeting Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And I, I know that uh, today we have media and uh, media reps no? from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Uh, so grateful for your support. And uh, essentially, this is uh, the goal is to, to help our uh, business sector, no? particularly the MSMEs uh, who are in need of a boost uh, while at the same time balancing your call to be socially relevant. No? Uh, right now, if uh, your product isn't branded as essential, no? you're, you're uh, in the lower list of uh, the, the, the grocery list or the, the, the carts no? of people. And so we want uh, to equip them. No? How can how can they become socially relevant, no? uh, especially uh, to the needs of the less privileged ones? And, and borrowing from one of our supporters uh, in World Vision, he was telling me that uh, our challenges today, uh, the frustrations and those that create anxieties in our lives today are the same things that give us meaning and purpose in life. And uh, we want to translate that into the business and to address that, We've uh, partnered with Comco Southeast Asia uh, to, to launch this cost uh, marketing for good webinar. And we, we hope that uh, we would be able to provide support to the MSMEs in helping them sustain their business, especially those who have started their operations no? uh, uh, during their, this pandemic. Uh, a, lot, a lot of businesses have shifted to a new form of business uh, as an alternative or as an additional source of income. And uh, hopefully this uh, CRM for good uh, could help uh, you know, generate uh, support for their products at the same time, uh, support the needs of the public. So uh, we want to increase the, unaware, the awareness on what cost marketing is, no? how, how it benefits, no? how it can be strategic and how it can be opportunistic at the same time, no? how it can be tactical. So. CRM is about creating products for good, right? So uh, there are several products or several services uh, that we can, that they can promote no, to advance the cause that they are supporting. And there are several causes. And right now, no, while we're doing this uh, press launch, no, uh, Taal Volcano uh, continues to uh, become active. No? Uh, Nagpa-pop up yung mga mga news from CNN and, and from, from the other uh, no, Philippine Star Inquirer and pop up sila na, that there's a, uh, another activity nung, nung taal. No? And uh, we're, we're also responding to that right now because no? we have uh, affected uh, communities in the area. No? And, uh, and so you have these events, you have these uh, emergencies no? How do you position uh, your, your brand no? and, and your products in order to be uh, of help and support to that? No? So we're, we're hoping that uh, this 
partnership with uh, Comco, with Air Asia, with Lazada, and uh, Ideas, uh, Ex Machina, no, and in AdSpark, no, for digital, uh, would uh, equip further our uh, the MSMEs in the Philippines, and uh, we we were hoping that uh, it would be uh, zooming in on the how tos, you know the the details of how a CRM no, uh, becomes successful. And so uh, we continue to invite all of you, uh, join us on uh, July 21st, uh, that's 2 p.m. Uh, and uh, we do have our some of our speakers with us uh, in this press launch. Uh, they would be sharing uh, some you know, uh, snippets of what we can expect from that webinar on July 21st. So thank you. Uh, and good morning. Thank you for filling us on the details, Sir June. Now that we have a general idea about what will go on at the virtual conference, let's take a look at what cost marketing actually is and watch this video. Hi everyone, Jelly Victor here. I'm a World Vision Ambassador. What is cause marketing? For cause marketing it actually involves a collaboration between a business and a nonprofit organization. Shopping with Robinson's Supermarket, they are able to give back to the community and we make them Want to know more about the steps on creating an effective cause marketing campaign? Join our Cause Marketing for Good webinar. It is happening on July 21st. See you there. We just heard what cost marketing is all about from Robinson Supermarket. Now let's see a preview of some topics that will be discussed in more depth during the virtual conference. Hi everyone, Jelly Victor here. I'm a World Vision Ambassador. Products for a cause. Why do we support them? As a mom, I oftentimes find myself supporting products which are intended to help fellow moms, kids, and families. I used to work in the development sector, so I know that whatever funds we raise from these kinds of campaigns, it will really benefit the people that we serve. It feels great that you're not just buying what you need, but you're also helping out. Join our Cause Marketing for Good webinar. It is happening on July 21st. See you there. So those were valuable insights from consumers about supporting products for a cause. This is just a short snippet of the types of insight participants can get when they join the conference. Up next, let's hear from Comco Southeast Asia about the cost marketing campaign they organized with World Vision and Air Asia. Hi again, everyone. My name is Jelly Victor, a World Vision Ambassador, and right now, I'm with Ferds. Hello, Jelly. He is the Regional Integration and Chief Executive Director of Comco Southeast Asia Incorporated. Can you ba share sa amin yung isa sa mga successful campaigns na nagawa ninyo? Doing this is really part of our DNA. So we've done several for um, tech firms, for FMCG, for apparel. But for this one, I would like to share what we did for World Vision and Air Asia, one of our most notable uh, projects. CRM projects. So basically, why this is really a good uh, story is it's deeply rooted with the va values of these two organizations. So Air Asia being a low-cost airline is among the first that democratized the air airline industry. So more people were able to fly and see the world. World Vision, on the other hand, has this child sponsorship program. I guess more, many people know about that. So it's supporting the overall growth of children. Through the gift of education, through World Vision, more children are able to see the world. You know what's good about this campaign is it really generated a lot of good results internally and externally. So with, with Air Asia, for example, during the campaign, there's a high record of passenger rate during the, the, that campaign, during that season. They're able to raise um, funds for these children and they feel good that they're just doing their work. Na sila. So I invite more uh, businesses, even small, even micro businesses, you know, to be part of this, to practice this, and to be part of this social movement. Thank you so much for that, Ferds, and I completely agree with you. I believe that when you are helping others out, it is it makes your job a lot more fulfilling. And I love how you brought these two companies together because if there's something we do know, especially after this pandemic, 
collaboration and connection is key. Thank you again, Ferds. Join our Cause Marketing for Good webinar. It is happening on July 21st. See you there. Comto Southeast Asia is World Vision's communications partner in the Philippines and will be a panelist in the upcoming virtual conference, along with other experts on cost marketing from different fields. And speaking of, allow me to introduce to you the speakers and panelists who will be part of the Cost Marketing for Good virtual conference to share their message to our media guests. First, we are honored to have Mr. David Viray, Air Asia's Head of Branding and Creative. Hi, um, Rita. Good, after, good morning, everyone. I'm, I'm so pleased to be here. Uh, of course, um, hello to our friends from World Vision, from Comco. Of course, my fellow speakers and panelists, um, our friends from media and the blogosphere. Um, again, I'm delighted to have been invited to this event. Um, World Vision is one of those organizations that I truly believe in, and it's such a great honor for me to be a part of this. Not to mention that we're also covering a very good topic, which is cost marketing. Um, it has always been an important aspect of doing business. It has and it will continue to be relevant. Um, in many years that I've been working on various campaigns and projects, when you do something that's for a good cause, the feeling is always different. Um, you also see your team more motivated and the results, sometimes as humble as it may seem, make you feel fulfilled. And, and I think it's the same feeling for your customers and everyone who supported you. So I'm indeed looking forward to sharing our learnings regarding this topic. The principles are pretty much the same, whether you're a big business, a multinational company, or an SME, whether you're after brand awareness, affinity of sales, or affinity or sales, it's pretty much the same. So um, again, I'm looking forward to, uh, forward to it and hope that we can all, all have a um, fruitful discussion on the 21st. Thank you, Sir David. Thank Next, you. we have Ms. Ishana Wong, Lazada Strategic Partnership Senior Associate. Hello, hi everyone. So thank you again so much for our world vision and he hello also to my fan fe fellow panelists. So first and foremost, we're very excited to be part of this initiative. You know, as Lazada, of course, our number one goal is to empower SMEs. And of course, who better to do it with, with the group of people that I am, I'm going to be in part of this webinar. So, you know, given the pandemic, it, everything has been very, very tough for our fellow SMEs or MSMEs. And with that, right, the responsibility of being an e-commerce platform has now jumped three times in terms of what we are able to do for them. So we're very excited to be part of this. We're excited also to share the different mechanics or different, you know, tips and tricks that we have. And to, of course, to further the like common goal of making sure the Philippine economy is backed by really um, good and inspiring MSMEs. Thank you, Ms. Ishana. Up next are our panel for cost marketing for good. Our cost marketing experts, please welcome Mr. Ferdinand Bondi, Comco Southeast Asia Regional Integration and Chief Executive Director. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today. I'm so excited about this project because CRM, CRM is something we're passionate to do. All of us, starting from the management down to the staff and even to our, our apprentices. And we believe that doing cost-oriented projects is not just nice to have anymore, but just but it's really a must, especially at this time. With the onset of the pandemic, it's everyone's responsibility to rebuild the society, to restore the economy. So it's really a must uh, these days. Uh, that's why doing good is good business. And if we have the opportunity to do our part, whether as a business or as a consumer, let's join the movement and have that change. Thank you, Sir Ferds. And last but definitely not the least, Mr. Third Domingo, CEO of Ideas X Machina of Hakuhod Kodo, founder of Malaking Munti Foundation Weekend Farmer and proprietor at Sierra Tienda Sara Tarla. Hello, hi, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Third. So uh, for the most part of my life, I've been in advertising and uh, this whole theme of like you know doing doing good is good business uh it, it's uh it's a truth that sometimes is painfully uh learned no um in advertising well we don't go we don't do a lot of good in advertising actually and sometimes brands wonder why they don't do well 
right? <laughs> it was precisely because of that, no? So that whole thing about, you know, uh, do good, do well, uh, is such a, a primary concept, you know, that, that I think we ought to uh, have a lot of discussion amongst uh, the industries, um, often not only in the industry level, but also as, you know, in the personal level, right? As, as human persons, when we do good, we do well, actually. So, uh, so I'm very excited to be, uh, to be a part of this, no? Uh, yeah, see you all on um, July 21, right? So I, I, I will show you a lot of examples that we have done. Uh, and also examples of like uh, failures. You know, well, sometimes it's that, you know, sometimes the end is always so good, but when we execute it, it doesn't work quite well. I, I, I will share a lot of those things uh, to you uh, on July 21. Thank you, Sir Third. Now, um, those are just some of our speakers for our cause Marketing for Good virtual conference. And we are super excited because as you can see, they are really um, well-versed with regards to CRM. Now, let us also welcome back Mr. Romel Perte and Mr. Jun Godornes for a quick photo op with our speakers before we proceed to our Q&A. We would like to invite everyone to please turn on your videos so that we can take that photo. Comco Southeast Asia, our partner PR agency, will take the photo for us. Okay, let's just check if everybody has turned on their videos. And I'm seeing a number of people already turning on their video. I think we can take the photo now. Comco, please do the honors in three, two, one. Okay, one more in three, two, one. And there you have it. Thank you again, everyone. We will now open the floor to some of your questions. Now, I request Mr. Ferta, Mr. Godornes, Mr. Virai, Ms. Wong, Mr. Bondi, and Mr. Domingo to stay with me here in our spotlight. For those who have questions, you may type in your name and publication in the chat room thread so we can ask your question for you. Again, we are now opening our floor to your question. Okay, while our media friends are still formulating that question in their heads, we would just like to ask our partner from World Vision, why is it important to uh, support MSMEs during this time? Considering that, yes, they do take up that massive number of, um, with regards to our economy, but they really are struggling right now. So how do you think can cost marketing for good help them stay afloat? So may I ask World Vision first, Sir Romel? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a really good opportunity for us at World Vision to support the MSMEs because uh, while we focus our work, you know, helping the most vulnerable children, the most vulnerable, uh, you know, in the communities, the poorest communities across the Philippines. Uh, we also recognize the need to partner and work with MSMEs. Uh, so by, by doing that, uh, you know, by helping them, you know, learn about uh, cost-related uh, marketing as we are launching it today, uh, that's a good opportunity for them to even boost. As mentioned already by June earlier, uh, it's a good opportunity for them to learn how to make their brands or their products are relevant, especially during this time. Uh, everybody's recovering and we know uh, that you know by, by doing something like this a learning opportunity would be a great help to them that's why we